Hey guys, it's Tayani, and welcome to a new video. So today, well, I should, let me start from the beginning. So I recently got some gouache paint for Christmas, and I wanted to try it out. And, um, by you could tell, no, by you can tell? How do you say that? But if you couldn't already tell, I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing right now. So, um, join me today as I struggle to figure out how gouache paint works. In the end, I definitely think this picture went through an ugly phase. <laughs> uh, clearly, I mean, um, that looks really weird right now, but in the end, I do think it came together pretty well, and I actually really like how the end result turned out. And this is kind of different for my channel. <laughs> yeah, addressing the elephant in the room. I'm doing a voiceover, I'm doing a YouTube video. I've been holding this off for a long time, and I just finally told myself, if I don't post this, then I'm never going to post it, then I'm never going to do this, so... If you can, can't tell outside, it was really cold when I was filming this. It was like December when I filmed this and now it's February. Two months have passed by right before my eyes. And before that, um, you know, I did my October series and that was all the way back in October. So I'm sorry for not being really consistent, but I'm also not gonna promise things I can't keep. And I know for a fact that if I'm like, oh, Next video, next week there'll be a new video. Yeah, there's no way I can do that right now. So, but this is just something I've always wanted to do. You know, make videos, and I'm gonna try my best to maybe post every other week. But like I said, like 30 seconds ago, that probably will not come into fruition, come to pass. So yeah. So as you can see in this painting right now, I'm really struggling. So off camera, I worked at it a little bit and then I came back to it once it was dry. I think my problem was I was just, I kept working on it while it was still wet and I'm really impatient and I just wanted to keep doing it, but I just had to let it dry for a little bit. The only way I could have saved this was using colored pencils. Like I love mixed media stuff. So yeah, I'm trying my best to get better at working in like just one medium, but you know, sometimes it needs that little pop with colored pencils, that hue shift, you know, that little pop. So yeah, I'm just going in with some colored pencils in areas and fixing it. I have used gouache once before actually. So this isn't my first time using it, sorry. I click baited you gotcha no but um my friend let me borrow her gouache paints once and when we were like hanging out and having like an art session and i used it and i sucked really bad at it so i was like never mind i don't think i like gouache that much but then i see everybody online painting these amazing studio ghibli pictures and like using gouache all the time i'm like i want to get good at this and use this so bad yeah, sorry this isn't a gouache Ghibli painting. I will probably do one of those at one point because those are really cool and yeah, but for right now, I kind of wanted to stick with something that's in my comfort zone, something that I draw all the time. A girl, wow, what a surprise.
for some reason when i was doing the brick wall it kept giving me like peanuts vibes like peanut movie vibes i don't know why whenever i feel like somebody's sitting on a brick wall they're just thinking so pensively about their life and i don't know so i was kind of going with like the peanut vibe this does not look like that at all but for some reason i just felt like it did so there's that random piece of information <laughs> I also use these colored pencils to not only add like shading and hue shifts and blush, but I also use it for line art and like extra strands and stuff. I think that the colored pencils really brought this piece together. Um, I would have literally hated it if it did not have this. And at the end, I also go in, yeah, like right now, I go in with some white gel pen. My white gel pen's dying um, and I don't know where my Posca is, but you know what? It worked good enough for this piece, so. <laughs> hey, also the brick wall outside my house, you know? My brick wall and the brick wall. I guess I just subconsciously told my brain to follow the brick wall, so that's kind of cool. Overall, this was really fun. Um, it took me like two hours, I think, to make this. And, but overall, I think it went really well. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.